Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I thought today I would try and attempt to do a weekend in my life. It's the weekend before school starts and the kids and I have a lot of errands to run, so I thought it would be perfect to take you along on these next three days. Um, Matt has gone into work. He stopped by and dropped us off breakfast as a surprise because, honestly, he forgot his work keys, so he had to come back to the house anyway. So he surprised us with, well, me, a coffee from Tim Hortons, a breakfast sandwich with bacon and egg and cheese on an English muffin, and uh, this is from Maddie's Happy Meal. She got pancakes from McDonald's. Um, I'm just going to eat that. And I'm already addressed for the day. It is not even 10 o'clock yet, but I'm going to eat this and drink my coffee and then probably go up and do some computer work while the kids get ready to head out to the mall. Connor needs sneakers and pants for back to school. Um, I am looking for a new pair of flats and I also want to go through my fall stuff at some point today. Um, also, I'd like to stop by Kent Building Supplies to pick up a piece of lumber. Super excited. I think we're going along this weekend with making the mantle for the fireplace. So if we do, I'll definitely share that with you. And we're also going to need to get some groceries because I'll have to do a little bit of meal planning for back to school. And I'll have to meet, I think I'm going to meal prep some lunches and figure out what I'm going to have for breakfasts. And then dinners. I think my slow cooker is going to be my best friend this fall because where I'm working the afternoons, I'm not going to be home to prep in the afternoon for dinners. So I'm going to look up a bunch of slow cooker recipes. So that's about it right now. I'm going to eat my breakfast and then get these kids ready to head out to the mall. I moved up to the computer. I still have a little bit of coffee left to drink, so I decided that that would be the perfect time to edit another vlog. I have a bunch of footage from past like, day in the life videos, so you'll be seeing those well before you see this one, but I need to edit those and it's kind of a wet and rainy day out there right now. So while the kids are getting ready and finishing their breakfast and getting dressed and everything for the day before we head out to the mall, I'm going to edit some footage um, from my camera and drink my coffee and then I'm going to throw in a load of laundry. We have a pile that I need to stay on top of. I find when we, when I actually stay on top of my laundry, it's so much easier. I mean, that's common sense, isn't it? But um, I'm going to throw that in after I finish my coffee so it doesn't get cold and then I'm going to just kind of wipe down all the counters, make sure everything's clean before we head out to get Connor some new shoes and to get the things and run the errands that we need to run. I also was thinking when I was meal prepping or meal planning for the, yeah, meal planning, <laughs> um, that I want to stop by the drugstore because I need to pick up a my BB cream, which I'm out of. I, I only wear, it's just drugstore BB cream and I'll share that when I pick it up. But so I'm gonna edit and drink my coffee and then go and get the kids and head out to the mall. goodness so editing took a lot longer than I anticipated I was just I was on such a roll that I didn't want to stop and um, I'm still not done I don't think people realize how long editing actually takes it is 11 30 now and um, I started around 10 30 so it's been an hour possibly an hour and a half I can't really remember the time I'd have to check actually before I even do that I'll share with you just some projects for school that I've been working on um, it's definitely extra, but I think it's going to look so nice in the class. Okay, so uh, I was cutting out with vinyl. I'm using the black Cricut removable vinyl, and I am cutting out all of our websites that we like the kids to use. And instead of writing them with dry erase marker on the whiteboard, 
these will be up there and I mean they can be permanent they can stay year after year um, I'm not going to show you the kids names because I did also cut out I did cut out all the kids names with vinyl as well to put on to like on their desks instead of name plates and here are some of the other vinyl pieces so I did the website so like we have cool math games dot com didn't fit at the end of it so I had to um I'll, I have another part of it that I'll connect when I do it with the transfer tape. But for things like websites like Raz Kits, um, so I have a Raz Kits there, so I have the website for them. And then underneath, I'll be able to put username, and then the username will be there, and then, then password underneath it. And it's just going to make the board look so much neater. So I did that, and like I said, I also cut their names out with vinyl. So I have uh, more vinyl projects. I'm really, really enjoying working with the vinyl. I don't know why it took me so long. So this pile of laundry needs to go in the wash before we head out to the mall. <laughs> we just made it to the mall, and we're going to head in and get all of our errands done that we need. We're also going to probably stop by the food court and grab a little lunch because it's 20 after one already and I didn't realize the time before we left. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna head over to Kent to get the wood and we have a long list of things to do. So we finished up at the mall and we we're just heading into Kent to get the wood for the mantle and watch where you're walking guys. Um, the mall was busy so I didn't take the camera out. Will you really need to see the mall that was an adventure in itself and we went to the hardware store and got the pine board and the molding but the chair rail that I ended up getting for the part of the mantle is warped so I have to return that sadly and before I return it my mother is actually calling my aunt to see if she has any pine chair rail left over that we can use instead of buying it because it was $39 which is a little more than I wanted to pay okay so while I wait for her to call back I'm gonna show you the few things that we ended up getting Maddie and I are still gonna run out to the dollar store to get bins for school for books for the library but Connor got some new sneakers for me okay yeah, so um he got these, which I thought were really nice, and they were only $49.99, so that's great. And I got that athletic wear top, it was $12.99. Okay, then the next two things, so the sneakers and the athletic top are from Winners, as well as this mug, which I thought was beautiful. It says fall is my favorite color, and it has it's navy blue with the leaves cute little tassel which I'll probably take off the mug but yeah I really like that and then so instead of going to Bath and Body Works I found this sand and fog pumpkin harvest candle and it was only a 12 it was only $12.99 and I really like the smell of that so I went with that instead of going to Bath and Body Works where the candles were $18 so that is our little haul there and I had a gift card which was great so and now we'll wait for my mom to call and then we'll head to the dollar store to get the bins for the library at the school and probably run to Walmart to return a few things good morning happy Sunday it's 
day two of the weekend in my life and I'm just sitting down to have breakfast this morning. Um, I'm not having coffee, but I am using, using my new mug. Fall is my favorite color. I absolutely love it. Uh, navy blue is probably my favorite color as well as mustard yellow. And uh, this mug just kind of has everything that I love. Um, so I'm just having orange juice in it right now because I am heading out to the school this morning and I'm going to grab a coffee at Robin's and that's about it. I'm sitting down right now to have some breakfast. So I'm having breakfast. Like I said, I'm having orange juice in my mug, watermelon that I cut up, and an egg with some shredded cheese on top. My egg turned a little brown. I cooked it in a cast iron skillet and... Um, I still find that the temperature really has to be low on that and I keep forgetting. So anyway, I'm still going to eat it. So I'm going to eat my breakfast and then I'll be heading out to the school. I'm just at the Robins lineup to get a coffee. I have to put my mask on. They still require us to wear masks when we pick things up at the drive-thru. New kit. Ah! This new camera doesn't have a tripod. Um, actually, I didn't bring my tripod for the car, so I'm going to have to figure that out because I can't hold the camera and drive at the same time. But I can pull over here and open my delicious coffee first. It's hot. Take a sip. Oh, so good. Okay, I'm gonna drive to work and enjoy this beautiful scenery. I really wish, uh, definitely gonna have to remember the tripod at some point because with this camera, I can guarantee you the views would be beautiful. <laughs> Just quickly pulling over to say it is 1.23. I've been working all day at school, but I'm heading home now to have fun with my kids. A medium black coffee and a pack of 10 powdered Timbits. 451 drive. Thank you. So I'm in the uh, parking lot, well, the drive-thru, not the parking lot. I'm in the drive-thru at Tim Hortons getting another coffee. It's 1.46 and I'm dragging today. I'm so tired. I can't believe we're back to school in two days on Tuesday, but I'm um, not sure if I mentioned it's Sunday. <laughs> I can't remember half the things I did today. Um, yeah, so I'm getting my Timbits because I'm hungry and I haven't had them all summer. And I am getting a coffee to see if I can actually stay awake. I am planning on doing some uh, meal prepping, planning tonight, well, this afternoon. I really should do that soon because there's no stores open tomorrow because it's Labor Day, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get my Timbits and coffee and then head home. Okay, so I'm home and I just made myself a quick lunch. So I just ended up making a bagel with uh, ham and cheese with some mustard and I'm going to eat that. And I think the kids are actually going to go for a swim. Um, it's not really warm. It's definitely starting to feel more like fall, which I always love when it's back to school season. So outside, just spent the last hour and a half trying to fix the lawnmower with Matt. Um, I started to drink my coffee and then I ended up have never heated it because it got cold but i am now sitting outside while the kids go between the hot tub and the pool it's quite chilly it's probably only like mid 60s um here so they're brave braver than i am <laughs> so i'm going to drink my coffee and figure out some ideas for lunches um i decided that i'm going to use what i already have on hand um, for this coming week, I have some sweet potatoes and chicken, so I'll definitely do something with that. And I think I have some frozen cauliflower or frozen broccoli, and I'll just heat that up. Maybe bake it in the oven? Yes, I'll roast it. I'll roast it in the oven with some seasoning, and I'll divide that for the four days since I'm only meal prepping for four. Um, I'll probably do that tomorrow. So I'm not sure if this vlog will continue to tomorrow, if it will be three days or if it'll just be two. Um, 
more than likely it will be a three and if it is and it's long i'm sorry <laughs> but sometimes i have a lot to say and then other days i have nothing probably pretty chatty so i'm going to stop and drink my coffee watch chat with the kids they're in the hot tub right now they're going back and forth and finish figuring out what i need to get on the grocery order on tuesday So this is a day three of my weekend day in my life. Um, I'm sitting down for breakfast. I already had my coffee this morning and I am still wearing my robe, but it is a little chillier outside and we're gonna be building a, a mantle hopefully. Um, Maddie does have ballet exam class later and um, I'm just doing a little lesson planning for the first day of school tomorrow. So I hope you're enjoying these three days. And I hope this video is not too long for you. So there is breakfast, orange juice, and a sandwich with egg and bacon, and some potatoes in the oven. I love holidays and weekends because Matt does all the cooking. Okay, so it is now just about 12 o'clock. Oh, so it is now 11.40 and I just finished making the bed. My parents ended up coming a little earlier than expected, so Matt is heading over to get the nail gun from his dad. And then my dad is going to help me build our mantle for our fireplace. I'll give you one last sneak peek of what it looks like before. Here's the fireplace with those beautiful, if you can sense my sarcasm, shelves. Um, the, in the end, I would love to remove the top one. But right now we're just going to build it to go over these two here and make it one long continuous piece. So I cannot wait. I'll insert a picture of my vision for Christmas time. Oh, I know. Yes, I'm already thinking about Christmas. I, I just, I love Christmas. And if you can see, I am wearing my fall scarf this morning. If you followed Vlogtober 2020, then you're very familiar with this scarf because it's a blanket scarf and I wore it pretty much every single morning driving to work and every single morning driving home from work. So this year it will be no different. I'll be wearing it in the morning driving and in the afternoon driving home. Um, but I'm gonna go head downstairs, get some laundry and throw in a load of towels that I need to wash. I'm trying to keep up on all this stuff and uh, I head back to work tomorrow. So I have some meal prepping that I need to do as well. Okay, change of plans for lunch. Both sweet potatoes were bad. Um, so I actually think I'm gonna bring a leftover hamburger 
and some watermelon and a yogurt. So we have yogurt. Uh, we have a leftover hamburger. We have watermelon all cut up, so I'm gonna bring that. So I'm gonna bring a leftovers for lunch, I think, instead of meal prepping, and then I'll just have to go to the grocery store tomorrow to meal prep. Okay, so I just finished putting away the laundry and I thought I would go through some of my fall bins with you to end this vlog um, before we eat dinner. But I think this is going to be a long one because I've been filming for the past three days. I tend to keep a capsule wardrobe, or I like to keep a capsule wardrobe for the four seasons. I do it in fall, winter, and then a spring, summer. So the weather is definitely cooling down. We're still kind of transitioning into the fall wardrobe, but uh, half the days I'm I can wear fall type things and then the other half are summer but I'm definitely out of shorts now that we're back to work and um, I'm just going to go through and see if there's any pieces that might not work for this year for me and if they are I'm going to go ahead and donate them and I'm going to take out the things I want I want to throw them in the wash just kind of freshen them up they've been stored in my closet so I washed them before I stored them but at the same time I still like to re kind of freshen up the clothes so I already took the bins down and I have three of them. They're just like 12 by 12 cube storage bins that I keep at the top of the closet up here. It's not the best system. They're really hard to get down, but they maximize the storage space. So for the time being, that's what we're working with. Okay, so here are the bins. I moved them up to the bed. I definitely have things that are very specific to the winter season, but I store them in my fall winter capsule okay so things like the green shirt i tend to wear mainly in the winter time and this red sweater is christmas related this is new this year i just threw it in um to the bin bought this tank top <laughs> at Walmart this year. It's good for layering and I like the burgundy color so I'm definitely keeping that. This shirt is specific to Christmas. It's my Minnie Mouse Christmas t-shirt. These I completely forgot I had are kind of like a green jegging. So they're a dark green jegging. I have this green sweater that I bought on clearance at Winners and I love the I love the the neckline. And this is a keep. It is a plaid button down. This is a keep. And it is another Burgundy and mustard has all the colors that I love for the fall time. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm just going to share dinner. Um, these are just honey garlic noodles and honey garlic chicken. I think there's some red peppers and onions in the noodles and celery as well. Okay, so I'm just going to sit down and eat dinner, and I think I'm going to call the vlog here. Um, I'm going to finish going through uh, my fall clothing at a later time. I just, we have so much to do before we head back to school tomorrow. So I want to thank you for following me along on these three days. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next vlog, friends. Take care and stay safe. Bye now. There is dinner. It looks absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm.